Uh, Marty Bergstedt with the AICHE here with Joe Stopp, who's the uh, Vice President of uh, IHS, and he's going to talk about their uh, operational risk software. Uh, Joe, tell us what you got. All right. So what we have here is uh, it's actually a, a poster conveying a research project that we conducted for our operational risk customers. Um, what we're talking about here is a, a, a leading indicator research initiative looking to solve the problem of you know, what are the companies that are performing the best in the world doing to continuously drive out losses, specifically safety losses, process safety incidents. So what are they doing in actionable and measurable terms to, to drive to zero losses? And so our, our research project pulled together 14 companies, uh, over 10,000 operating assets worth of data covering a list of processes uh, that you may not be able to see on, on the poster here, but from audits, risk assessments, uh, PHAs, um, action items, to near misses, incident investigations, and so on. Uh, a data set of millions of records of data, and the intent was to look for the factors that most effectively predicted safety performance. And what we were specifically looking to predict is a weighted safety performance metric, a, a weighted recordable rate. Um, and what we have in our data set is uh, a set of performers that using this severity weighted recordable rate are performing really close to zero. And then we also have a set of performers that are much worse than that, orders of magnitude worse than zero on the other end of the spectrum. And what we found were the, the predictors of performance, either good or bad, were reporting culture, action execution, and leadership responsiveness. And those, uh, those factors each year we uh, calculate as benchmarks, uh, quartile benchmarks, and feed back to each of the, the research forum member companies so that they can identify weaknesses and gaps and, and put plans together to improve performance. Joe, you talk about culture. How exactly do those uh, parameters uh, measure, or how do you measure culture? So, so you can, one way that we've had some of the companies that we work with look at, at culture is the, the overarching index. Each of these three factors that make up our predictive index um, are looked at by some companies as a, a measure of culture. So the interpretation might be that if you have an operating asset with leadership that are driving the workforce to feel comfortable reporting, that's reporting culture, and a workforce that's disciplined and following up and with corrective actions and getting them done on time, and leaders that are responsive to facilitating the overarching process, that those three things together make a strong culture, and that's essentially what we're measuring with our index. Okay. Uh, uh, years ago, in my work at, uh, experience, I worked for DuPont. Okay which had a very strong safety culture. Yep. Uh, where would a company like DuPont fit along these lines and, and a typical uh, uh, oil producer uh, refinery or a producer like Exxon Mobil? Okay, so well, first of all, uh, DuPont's out, the outcome performance at DuPont is world class, so they're, they're a, a good performer. Mm -hmm. And what this is measuring is, this particular slide is measuring outcome performance. So okay. it's, and so DuPont is, a, is thought of you know, as a world leader in, in safety, and I'm sure their, mm -hmm. their performance would, would put them in that class. Okay. Um, now, the research that we did was conducted at the asset level. So you know, we don't compare the outcome performance or the leading indicator performance of Exxon to Shell or to Chevron. Okay. Our calculations are done at the asset level. So a particular refinery of Exxon you know, versus all the other refineries in the data set okay. is the type of calculations that we're doing. And again, we're doing it with these leading indicator metrics that have been tested through statistical analysis to be predictive of safety performance. Okay. One last question, Joe. Is this software something that you would use as a consultant to a particular operation, or would you sell this software to the EHS organization for them to use for their various? So the software office. is used by the operating company. Okay. So it's it's implemented internally. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for example, we have uh, 
most of the super major energy companies, mm -hmm. all but one, that are using our software in every asset of the world okay. that they operate. And it's installed inside of their firewall on their internal intranet okay. and used by all the employees in the field for all the different types of activities and processes that I've mentioned. All right. Uh, any last words for our audience? No, that's it. I, I appreciate the, okay. the opportunity. Thank you very much, Joe. Yeah, thank you.